the vacuuming on a Saturday morning. Some folks are trying to sleep around here. And of course, by some folks, I mean me. Oh, and him. Sorry if I woke you up, guys, but I need to get the guest room ready. Oh, huh? that must be them. <laughs> them? A them is coming. Odie, do you know who <gasps> them could be? <laughs> Hello, Uncle John. <laughs> My worst fears come true. Them no. is them. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, Odie, but I'm afraid we don't have much choice. This is our one-way trip to South America. Pre-stamped, pre-labeled, and ready to go. We'll start a new life there, Snoopy. Here's your passport. Somebody let me out! <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot to mail Nermal last week. Nermal! Them is here! <laughs> them? John's nieces? Them, them? Ah! <laughs> Wait, take me, take me! Uh, send me to Abu Dhabi! Anywhere they don't have twins! Coward. Garfield and Odie are upstairs if you want to go look for them. That's all right, Uncle John. We don't really feel like playing right now. Want to watch TV? <laughs> Oh, I know, games. <laughs> you two love games. How about if we play some games? Oh. Okay. While I get the house ready for your visit, you two go to the playground and eat those lunches I packed for you. Oh. Side. They didn't run around screaming, where's the kitty cat? Where's the kitty cat? Like they usually do. Something's wrong. Come on, let's see if we can find out what it is. Well, well, if it isn't the twin losers. Hand it over. <laughs> Disgusting. How many times I have to tell you, I hate mustard. We won't, we won't do, do it, it again, Grandma. We, we promise. Good. Now, I want to go to the playground. Carry me. No wonder the twins are feeling down. They're being bullied. There's nothing I hate more in this world than bullying. <laughs> oh, okay, except for anchovies on pizza. There's nothing in this world I hate more than bullying. Let's follow him. Stop! <laughs> Hello. Sorry, new city ordinance. No cats or dogs allowed on the playground. Scram, or I'll have you thrown in the pound. <laughs> we need to get into that playground if we're going to help Minerva and Drusilla. <laughs> Come on, this way. <laughs> First, we need a sandwich hmm. with plenty of mustard. Mm -hmm. Now, I figure Minerva and Drusilla brought tons of clothes to dress us up in. Yep. Come on, Odie. You and I are going to play dress up ourselves. Here, put those shoes on. It doesn't matter if they're not your size. I need one more fashion accessory. Squeak! Yes? <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Stay hidden, okay? No one can see you. Well, how do I look? <laughs> you look awesome, Garfield. Ah, thanks. <laughs> faster, faster! Push me faster, you twin losers! <laughs> hey, is that a friend of yours? 
She must be on account of she's so weird. Drusilla, is that how I think it is? Scarfield, I think. <laughs> well, who is that? Greta, this is our, our cousin, Petunia. <laughs> she looks kind of weird, if you ask me. <sighs> well, that's because Petunia is, uh, uh, from France. That's right, she's from France. Did she bring anything to eat? <laughs> uh, I'll eat it later. Now, I want to go bounce in the bouncy castle. Someone else is playing in it. <laughs> hey, I was bouncing in there. Not when I want to. <laughs> Get back in there. I do not like bullies. You still up there? Want to get us out of your head? Here's what I want you to do. Oh. <laughs> Mice! Ah! Ah! Get them off me! Get them off me! Laughing at me? No one's allowed to laugh at me. We are. We're not afraid of you anymore, Greta. Yeah, you're afraid of mice. Like all bullies, you're all just hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I feel sorry for Greta. Uh, just a little. Let's see where she's going. They'll be sorry. They'll all be sorry. Hey, there's Greta. Hey, you bring us something? Yeah, we're hungry. <laughs> and it's not like you need more food. Hey, those are my sandwiches. Not anymore. This mustard. We hate mustard. Didn't we warn you about mustard? I'll, I'll try to do better next time. Hey, what? let's take her back. Oh, the bully's being bullied. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Give it back. Give it back. Oh, we have to help her. I think I know what to do. We'll need that blanket. We may not have to do anything. It looks like the twins have an idea. This is not nice. How would you like it if someone did this to you? Leave her alone. <gasps> Give her back her bag. And don't be mean to her or anybody. And just how are the three of you going to stop us? We're witches. We learned it from a nice lady named Mrs. Cauldron. We have magic powers. Watch. <laughs> We'll turn our friend here into a cat. No, a dog. How about a cat and dog? Watch. Abracadabra, presto, change <laughs> You leave our friend Greta alone, or we'll turn you all into snails. Yeah! And we'll step on 
on you, too. Hey! <laughs> thanks. And thanks for saying I was your friend. N no one ever has. Do you want to come over later and play? Our Uncle John can make you a sandwich without mustard. <laughs> 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 hey, that Greta isn't such a bad kid after all. Most bullies bully because they don't know how to be liked. So they learn that, they don't have to be bullies anymore. Uh-oh, look who's back. <laughs> Hi, Garfield. Okay, what rotten thing are you gonna do to me now? Nothing. We just encountered some bullies, Normal, and they reminded me of someone I don't like. Who? Me at times. So I'm not gonna throw you out or mail you overseas or anything like that. Really, Garfield? You're actually gonna be nice to me? Yes. At least for a little while. Comic-Con for two days, there's plenty of food in the fridge. Not anymore. And Liz will come check on you tomorrow. You'll see. I'll be back before you even know it. <laughs> oh, for the love of lasagna, Odie. You gotta learn to look at the plus side of things. John is gone, which means we can do things like this. <laughs> Adopt a smart cat and choose him very fast. He'll be like your child. Your life will be wild. I am a smart cat. 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 Be on this point, have no regrets. Garfield is no ordinary pen. With your smart cat, nothing will be flat. This is a smart cat. Thank you. Hey, Odie, want to split the last slice? <laughs> oh. And now, I'm going to watch bad TV all day and do absolutely nothing. Big change from yesterday when I watched bad TV all day and did absolutely nothing. There's only one thing I don't like when John is gone. This is him whether he's going to be gone for 10 minutes or for 10 months. If only I could make Odie believe that John is still here with us. Hmm. Of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Yeah. 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 <sighs> A pair of dirty socks. Perfect. Now, he 
just needs a face. I happen to be real good at drawing, John. Eat your heart out, Jim Davis. Behold, voila, John Two. <laughs> Odie, guess who's back? <laughs> Aren't you happy to see John? Huh. And now for the final touch. <laughs> Hello, this is John Arbuckle. I am not in right now, but if you leave... Well, what do you mean that he's not in the bathtub right now? Hello, this is John Arbuckle. I am not in right now, but if you leave... <laughs> John, is it all right if I eat your meal too? If you don't say anything, I'll assume it's okay with you. John. <laughs> What's that, Odie? You want John to throw the stick for you? What's that, John? Garfield? Will you throw the stick for me? Sure, John, I'll throw the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful throw, Garfield. Oh, thank you, John. Boy, that wind's starting to kick up. Garfield! Odie! <laughs> Garfield! Odie! <laughs> oh, you heard me. No, but I smelled the pizza. I came over to bring you this and to make sure John's windows were all closed. It's windy out there. <laughs> I saved a slice for you. I mean, uh, half a slice. Odie! Oh, huh? oh no! Odie! Odie, come back! Odie! Odie! Red one for my darling little son, please. Here you go, ma'am. I don't want a red balloon. I want the one with the hat on the stupid looking face on it. I want that one. I'll pay whatever I have to for it. Here. It's all yours. <laughs> Yay! It's mine. All mine. <laughs> So we gotta make these, Leon. It's a balloon that looks like half a person with a really stupid face. Excuse me, I need another balloon. What does it look like? You know that guy with a cat? The cat that eats lasagna? I need another one of those balloons. And now she wants to buy another one. I'm telling you, Leon, we'll make a fortune. <laughs> I need to find Oni before that dumb dog gets into trouble. I want my balloon back! <sighs> Guess I'm a little late. Hey, watch hey, out! Hey, 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 hey. Get out of my way! I want my balloon! <laughs> Let go of that child's balloon, dog. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
brilliant plan. I hope one of you has one because I sure don't. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but this is an emergency. <laughs> This making another John is not looking like one of my better ideas. They're heading towards downtown. What do you mean they've run away? I don't know what to tell you. One minute they were here, the next minute they were gone. I've looked for them everywhere. I'm on my way back from the airport. I'll be there as soon as I can. Boy, Garfield? Driver, follow that cat and dog. I've gone way over my contractual limit of running scenes in this episode. Someone call my agent. Woody! Concrete. Come on, Odie. I just talked to the construction workers, John. They're still trying to find the right tool to get you out of that concrete in one piece. Hey, look at it this way, Pooch. At least he won't be leaving home again for a while. Mm -hmm. Dr. Whipple, before the break, you were telling us about the importance of dreams. Yes, our dreams generally show the kind of lives we secretly want to live. They're <sighs> often about the world the way we wish it could be. He's right, you know. Huh? I sometimes dream about being a superhero. <laughs> Strong, <laughs> smart, invincible. Uh, what do you dream about, Garfield? Mm. Uh, pasta, mostly. There he is, the test subject for my latest invention, and he doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Doctor, is there any way to control what others dream about? No, that's impossible. No, it isn't. I can do it. My new invention can do it. We make our own dreams and we control our own dreams. I suppose if someone could control the dreams of others, that person could rule the world. Yes! I can and I will! I have only two dreams! One is to rule the world! Is that asking so much? Nathan! It's past your bedtime! Go to bed! Oh, and before you do, take out that garbage! Duh! Yes, Mother! I'll be in bed just as soon as I finish my homework! And my other dream is to never, ever again be told to go to bed or take out the garbage! Perfect. He is, as he so often is, sound asleep. I'm gonna give that cat the worst nightmare he has ever had. But first, to lull him into a false sense of happy, I will give him a good dream. <laughs> the best. 
best dream he has ever had in his life! <sighs> Thank you for letting me sleep for several days, John. Oh, what's for breakfast? I didn't know what to make you for breakfast, so I just made infinite lasagna. Infinite lasagna? That's like almost forever. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, cat! <laughs> and remember, Garfield, there's plenty more where those came from. I remember, I remember. I have the results of your checkup, Garfield. Everything's great. Go on eating everything you want. In fact, you could stand to gain a few pounds. <laughs> Huh? What's that, boy? You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? <laughs> you never want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? Never again? <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. I know throwing the stick. I won't have to throw the stick. Garfield, we want you to know. We'll never dress you up in women's clothing ever again. Oh, and sorry about the bridal gown last Tuesday. Although you did look stunning in it. Huh? Hi, Garfield. From now on, I'm going to save you the trouble of tormenting me. I'll just deliver your mail here. <laughs> then I'll throw myself into a mud hole. <laughs> bravo! Bravo, Arthur, Arthur! Boy, great things are happening to me all of a sudden. I wonder what other dreams of mine could come true. Cat, I'm a very rich man. I have a large sack of money, and I don't know what to do with it, so you might as well have it. Here. <laughs> Ouch. Works for me. Garfield, <laughs> I'm going to give you and your show a rave review. It's so funny and exciting. Oh, and this dream sequence is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to give you four stars. <laughs> <laughs> and Ivy. Garfield, I just wanted you to know. Since nobody likes me on this show, I'm quitting. And I'll never be on here again. Goodbye forever! Oh, now that you got rid of her, five stars, maybe six! I'm coming to you live from downtown, where every attractive female for miles around is flocking to the cutest cat in the world. Normal's here? Oh, wait, this is my dream. It's me. <laughs> From miles around, they've come just for the chance to be near him and perhaps pet him. He's so adorable, I think I'll join them. Hey, wait for me! I saw him first! Whoa, hey, don't push, ladies. There's enough of me to go around. And if there isn't, I can put on a few more pounds. <sighs> well, I might as well admit it. Garfield is much cuter than I am. I guess he's always been, and I, I just didn't want to admit it. I'm sorry, Garfield. I'm sorry for all the grief I caused you. I'm sorry for all those times I woke you up. I'm sorry for all the bragging I did about my silly, meaningless awards. I'm sorry for all the times I was so obnoxious that you had to put me in a box and just spend all that money mailing me to Abu Dhabi. I'll make sure you never have to do it again. <laughs> I'm sending myself there, and you'll never see my not-as-cute-as-I-thought-it-was face again. So long, Nermo. If you see Aunt Ivy, tell her not to come back either. No more, huh? Nermo. Oh. Eight stars. No, 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 make that ten. Oh, just take all the stars and the box they came in. All of you, get away from him. I saw him. First. Oh. Arlene. 
I finally appreciate how wonderful you are. Well, I've been telling you that for years. Garfield! I have a few hundred of pizzas here I don't know what to do with. Would you mind eating them? Oh, for you, Vito. Anything. Oh, I take back every <laughs> bad thing I ever said about you. Even that remark about your stomach looking like an overinflated basketball. Can you possibly, possibly forgive me? I'll consider it. All right. Enough of the good dream. Time for the bad dream. Nathan! Bedtime and garbage! Duh! In a moment, Mother dear. Right now, bad dream time. Welcome to your worst nightmare, Garfield. <laughs> no, I know I'm an adorable, adorable cat, but you don't have to give me such expensive gifts. Oh, John, John, what's for breakfast? Raisins! From now on, you eat nothing but raisins. Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin sandwiches, raisin bread without the bran, raisin chow mein, raisin tacos! Oh, but I am making spaghetti and meatballs. Except that instead of the spaghetti, I'm using raisins! And instead of the meatballs, I'm using raisins! <laughs> I checked out your diet, Garfield. It turns out what you should be eating is absolutely nothing ever again! <laughs> No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will. Yeah, you get the idea. Garfield, remember that sack of money I gave you? Oh, this one? I forgot to deduct taxes from that. Here, this is what you get to keep. I am gonna take that and put it towards your pizza bill. <laughs> oh, how could this nightmare get any worse? Kitty cat! Well, that's how. <laughs> yeah! It's a bold fashion statement. It's a trend-setting look. I think it's tacky and cheap. And that's zero stars. And your stomach does look like a basketball. An overinflated one. I've got to get out of this nightmare. <laughs> you can't get out of it. It's in your head, and as long as my machine is working, that's where it will stay. Nathan, <laughs> skip the garbage for tonight, but go to bed. Yes, darling mother. All right, all right, I'll go to bed, but Garfield's nightmare will continue. This just in, the city has voted to ban lasagna and to declare that from now on, every day of the week will be Monday. <gasps> I've got to get out of this nightmare and these clothes. Hey, Garfield, I've got some packages for you. Hi, Garfield. I'm back. Hi, Whoa. Garfield. Hi, Garfield. I'm back. back. I got you. Back. Ah! Ah! No, no, things could not get any worse. Wait a minute. Every time I say things can't get worse, they get worse. See? I'm back too. And from now on, I'm gonna be in every episode. Mm. Ah! <laughs> when will this nightmare ever end? It will <laughs> when you want it to. Don't you remember what I said? We make our own dreams. Yeah? So we can control our own dreams. In your case, here's what you need to do. Uh, Nathan, that evil boy genius across the street? I should have known. Thanks, Dr. Whipple. Don't mention it. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Nathan, 
You know, this is a lot more entertaining than half the shows on TV. Now this is the ultimate dream. Commercial message from... Commercial, commercial for, for Darcy's, Darcy's Donuts. Donuts! Commercial, commercial for, for Darcy's, Darcy's Donuts. Donuts! Someone other than Darcy's Donuts. <laughs> Rats! I was hoping for a Darcy's Donuts commercial. You know, there's a good chance there could be Darcy's Donuts here any minute now. Today's my birthday, you know, and <laughs> since all my friends know how much I love Darcy's Donuts, I'm hopeful one of them will send me a dozen. Mm. <clears throat> you knock? I did. Any word from your mouse friends at the Darcy's Donuts factory? <laughs> Come on down. Uh, nice. And that sounds like the mailman now. Gee, I wonder what he's bringing John. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Post. Afternoon, Mr. Arbuckle. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday to you, too. <laughs> Kinda neat that we both have the same birthday. Makes it easy for me to remember yours. <laughs> now, I have here... Oh, wait. <sighs> something I gotta do first. <sighs> ah. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday to John. I hope this day is pleasant. Please enjoy your present. Happy birthday to John. Here's your package. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Post. Happy birthday to you, too. Oh, I hope this is what I hope it is. And that someone doesn't get to them before I do. Open it up. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now calm down, guys. I'm not going to be greedy. Good, I'll take all 12, Odie. You can have the box. I'm going to give you each one donut. One? It's my birthday, and the rest of them are mine. <laughs> and I'm going to save them until after lunch. One. Shall we? <laughs> the donut, nature's most perfect food. But I will not be satisfied with one. I must get another Darcy's Donut. I must get another Darcy's Donut. Preferably all of them. <laughs> no, it's not wrong to take all the donuts John just got for his birthday, and I'll tell you why later. Right now, I need inspiration. Chocolate cream-filled donut. Ah. Raspberry-filled donut. Lemon-filled donut. Ah. Anchovy filled donut. Yeah. Strawberry filled donut. Ooh. <laughs> I've got to get some of those donuts. <laughs> this is an odd one. A donut filled with dog food. I'm coming. I'm coming. I wonder who this could be. Huh? <laughs> Trick or treat? But it's not Halloween. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little boy, don't cry. I'll get you a treat. <laughs> Here, I couldn't find any candy, so I'm giving you one of my birthday donuts. One? <laughs> all right, all right. Here's another one, but that's it. Oh. Mm. Well. Four down, eight to go. My Darcy's donuts, and you had to go eat them all. I offered you one, but that wasn't enough for you. You had to eat them all. You had to go. Uh, Mr. Harbuckle, would you please take these packages? This one is from your Aunt Ivy. This one is from your brother, Doc uh, Boy. This is from Liz. This is from your parents. See, Pooch? This is why I wasn't worried about eating all of John's donuts. Squeak's friends at the bakery told him, and he told me... That everyone John knows ordered donuts for him. These are all D -D Darcy's donuts? Looks that way. This one's from Vito. I think it's pizza donuts. Here's one from that girl, Angie, in Australia. <sighs> well, that's the last of them. If you'll excuse me, I need to go sit down. Or fall down or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I guess the question is, how are we going to eat all these donuts before they go stale? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> can I help? <laughs> Here, I brought you some more donuts in person, so I can help you eat yours! Well, pitch in. We've got so many donuts, even Garfield can't eat them all. Mm. I always rise to every challenge. Please raise sour cream donut. <laughs> Maple donut. Ooh. Oh, and here's another one of those dog food donuts. <laughs> Pumpkin donut. <gasps> There's something I need to do. Gluten-free honey spice donut with those little chocolate sprinkles I just love. Ah. Some birthday, I delivered cards and packages all day, but none for me. No, why should anyone care that it's my birthday? I'm just the mailman. I'm just... <laughs> Make a wish. You know what I wished for, Garfield? I wish that you'd go a whole week without doing anything rotten to me. Well, that wish thing doesn't always work. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. The party never ends as long as you have friends. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. So true. We always celebrate this very special date. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. 